Hello, Christiania in Tanzania. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today's devotion is titled The Meaning of Life from the Zonervan's Devotional Bible, the NIV version. It's based on Hebrews 13, verses 15 through 16. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruits of the lips that confess his name. And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. After decades of research, George Gallup Jr. listed the top spiritual needs of people today. One, to believe that life is meaningful and has purpose. Two, to have a sense of community and deeper relationships. Three, to be appreciated and respected. Four, to be listened to. Five, to feel that they are growing in faith. And six, to get practical help in developing immature faith. Notice how many of the needs relate to relationships. That's because we are created to be relationship, relational people. God created us first to have a relationship with him and second to have relationships with one another. It is through our interactions with others that we find meaning in life. The Bible teaches others that others will know whether our Christianity is genuine by looking at whether our love for each other is real. This is based on John 13, 35. It's easy to love people who love us, but we are commanded to extend kindness and act of services, service even to strangers. Doing so is a sign that our faith is dynamic and alive. God asks us to grow and mature by forgiving those who have wronged us, and scripture instructs us to put others' needs ahead of our own, even if it's not convenient. That's how we show others we appreciate and respect them. In Hebrews 13, the author instructs us concerning hospitality to strangers, marital relations, and submission to authority, in essence, how to build relationships. But the whole catalog of interactions with others is rooted in and gets its life source from our relationship with Jesus. Our sacrifice of praise to God and our sacrifice of service to others are fundamentally linked to him. Our good works to others grow out of Christ's work in us and that pleases him. None of our sacrifices for others are even comparable to the great sacrifice that Jesus made in order to have a relationship with us. But the amazing thing is that when we offer the sacrifices of time, energy, and good deeds to others, we not only grow closer to them, but we also grow closer to Jesus. In Christ, we find true meaning to our lives. I'm going to um, end with uh, Hebrews 13, verses 20 through 21, which is the prayer. May the God of peace who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom the glory be forever and ever. Amen. Have a great day and safe travels home.